so many people are getting into green walls and vertical gardening these days, but it seems there's one old school vertical garden style that's been all but forgotten. The hanging basket. They can be real problem solvers. You can use them to add greenery and bring colour to otherwise impossible spots, and they're excellent for bringing smaller colourful plants up to eye height. You can also use them for growing herbs and some veggies. Absolutely brilliant. You can put them just where you want them, right outside the kitchen door or beside the barbecue. Now I want to share a few of my hanging basket tips with you and what better way than to build a hanging basket. You'll need a decent quality hanging basket with chains. This type's called a beehive basket. The line is coir or coconut fibre that's partially waterproofed. A bag of top quality potting mix. This is essential for hanging baskets. Some quality water crystals, preferably food safe polyacrylamide free a good controlled release fertiliser, plants of course, I'm going to use annual petunias and sweet alyssum, it's now known as lobularia, and you need two buckets. I want to create a total cascading flower look, now that will happen with time with these varieties but there is a way that you can make it happen faster. My potting mix is a premium blend so it has water crystals in it but because hanging baskets can dry out super fast I'm going to add some extra. Don't add crystals dry, add water to about a teaspoon of crystals and soak them first otherwise it can be way too easy to put too many of them in. Mark the liner at four or even points about halfway down the sides. Pull it out, fold on the point you've marked and use garden scissors to cut holes about four or five centimetres across. Drop the liner into your basket, making sure the holes are facing to an open space, and then here's where you want one bucket. Stand your basket in the bucket to stop it rolling around. Pour potting mix into the other bucket, add some of the expanded water crystals, some controlled release fertilizer, and mix together well. Add this improved potting mix into the bottom of the basket, filling to the line of your holes. Press it down gently, but don't compress it. Here's how you get the head start on the flower ball look. Take your advanced seedlings and push them through the holes that you've made in the basket liner. As you put each one through, add some potting mix on top to stabilise it. Once they're all in, fill the basket to about 3cm short of the top of the basket liner. Leaving this much space makes it much easier to water later on and stops your basket from overflowing. Now dig a little hole in the centre and add your advanced plant. This is the sweeter listen. Press the mix down gently, top it up if needed and you're done. Don't go reaching for your watering can just yet. If you saturate your basket you may find it becomes heavy and a bit awkward to lift up onto its hook. So instead put it in place and then water it. I'm using a diluted seaweed solution to help the plants settle in. Now you might be wondering why I added extra fertiliser when the potting mix already contained it. Hanging baskets tend to get watered more often than other types of pots and garden plants. This increase in watering can lead to nutrients being flushed through the potting mix really quickly. So I like to throw a little bit of extra fertiliser in. The basket I've planted up I've just used annuals so they'll need to be replaced in a few months time. You can use a different technique. Put a foundation planting, a more permanent plant in the centre and then surround that with annuals or perennials that you can replace as you need to. There you go, turning an old school classic into a funky new fave.